talking about cloning. I will be using two different products as a side-by-side -side comparison. The first product I will be using is Extreme Gardening Zazos. The second product I will be using is Hydrodynamics Clonex Gel. This very fine specimen behind me we have here is a Grosse Elysee tomato plant. This is our mother plant that uh, we've taken uh, cuttings off in the past. Uh, she's native to Australia and she produces very large, uh, flavorful fruits. Alright, so the first part of cloning is selecting where your cuts are going to come from. Uh, most of the time, I like to take a healthy cuts from the top. You know, these are going to be your thicker, more sturdier branches, giving you a nicer plant to straight up vegetable. But in this case right now, I already have a couple of tree flowers on my tomato plant, and I don't want to disrupt those. I'm trying to eat these tomatoes once they're all the way grown out, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll be taking cuttings from around the bottom area and somewhere in the middle area, just whatever's looking real healthy. All right, when I select the branch that I'm gonna make my cut, I'm gonna come about uh, two inches off the main branch and cut it a nice clean cut. Um, this gap here, it makes it easier for my mother plant to heal uh, further away from the main branch, so that way it reduces the risk of any type of uh, disease and whatnot. All right, after I've made my cut, I'm gonna go ahead and strip off the lower branches of my cutting, so that way I can fit it into the glass of water and submerge it as soon as possible so no air gets inside this stem, uh, giving it a much harder time for this cut to actually root out. All right, now that we cleaned our uh, working space, now it's time to gather our tools. Before we start making our cuts, I'm going to go ahead and get my solution ready for my cube to soak into and get that soaking while I'm actually making my cuts. Now I'm going to use about half a tablespoon for each quart of water. So I'm going to make sure that on there. And then I'm going to give that a nice good stir. Now that we have our solution already mixed and ready to go, I'm going to take my root radish cubes, place six directly into the solution. I'm going to let that soak for about 15, 20 minutes, like I stated. Give that good nice stir, make sure all the A's are soaked in the H cube. That on the side. Now, I'm going to make a mixture of one part water, one part azos. Now, this is I'm going to soak my cuttings directly into this for about 15 minutes. I use two ounces of water and I just put about two ounces of basil.
Stop by, this is Art of Hydro, I'm Z, see you in the next one.